Hello students, welcome to our science class. Does this picture look familiar to you? Yes, it's the petrol station. Our vehicles needs fuel, petrol or diesel to run. In the same way, our body also needs fuel. The fuel for our body is food. I mean good food and healthy one. So let us start with our second chapter, Components of Food. Food is a nutritive substance taken by an organism for growth, work, repair and maintaining life processes. Food is a kind of fuel for the living things. Just as petrol fuel for our vehicles, in the same way food is a fuel for our body. All living organisms such as plant and animals require food. So food is essential for all living organism and most of our food is made from the plant source or animal source. Food helps us to grow, to give energy and to be healthy. Now, the useful substances in food that provides you all these three are called nutrients. Food contains the major five nutrients. They are carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals and also we have some others which are water and roughage which is also very important for our body. Let us look at carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are one of the main type of nutrients. They are the most important source of energy for our body. Our digestive system changes the carbohydrates into sugar that is glucose, blood sugar we call it. Also it breaks down to starch. The body uses this sugar for energy for all the cells, tissues and organs. It stores any extra sugar in the liver and muscles when it is needed. So the main work of carbohydrates is to provide energy to our body. Some examples of carbohydrates rice, potato, sweet potato, wheat, maize, sugarcane and there are many more. Proteins. Proteins are needed for growth and repair of our body. These are called as body building foods. Protein is an important component of every cell in our body. Our hair and nails are mostly made of protein. Our body uses this protein to build and repair tissues. Protein is also used by the body to make enzymes and hormones. It is an important building block of bones, muscles, cartilage, skin and blood. Now let us look at some food items which are rich in protein. Pulses like dal, chana, moong. All these are pulses which are very rich in protein. Fish, eggs, milk and its preparations like the curd or dahi we call it, cheese, butter, all these are milk preparations and also meat. So these food items are rich in protein. Milk is very nutritious and a rich source of protein. It also contains calcium for healthy bones and teeth. Eggs. Chicken eggs are a rich source of protein and vitamins. Meat of animals 
such as chicken, goat, fish and prawns are eaten. Pulses are a part of healthy balanced diet and have been shown to have an important role in preventing illnesses such as cancer, diabetes and heart diseases. Pulses are a low fat source of protein. Paneer is also rich in protein. It is also called as cottage cheese. Fats They are stored energy food. Same like the carbohydrates, they provide us energy. But it is stored energy. Some foods which are high in fat. The food we eat contains nutrients that provide energy and other substances for the needs of our body. Most of the nutrients are carbohydrates, proteins and fats. The body uses fat as a fuel source and fat is a major storage form of energy in the body. Food items which are rich in fat. All these type of oils, cheese, chocolate, donuts, crackers, cookies, chips, cashew nuts and most of the nuts, they are rich in fat. Obesity is generally caused by eating too much and moving little. If you consume high amounts of energy, particularly fat and sugars, but do not burn off through exercise and physical activity, much of the surplus energy will be stored by the body as fat, which is one of the diseases. Vitamins Vitamins help in protecting our body against diseases. They also keep our eyes, bones, teeth and gums healthy. Vitamins are divided into water-soluble and fat-soluble vitamins. So these are the vitamins. Water-soluble are vitamin B and vitamin C. Fat-soluble are vitamin A, D, E and K. Let us have a look at the vitamins in detail. Vitamin A. These are some examples for vitamin A. It's a fat-soluble vitamin. It is very good for a healthy vision skin, bones and other tissues in the body. Vitamin A works as an antioxidant, fighting cell damage and other uses are also there. Vitamin B Some examples of Vitamin B Vitamin B is a complex so you'll find different type of Vitamin B. Vitamin B6, Vitamin B12, Vitamin B2 are here as examples. It plays an important role in maintaining good health and well-being. As building blocks of healthy body, it has direct impact on our energy levels, brain function and cell metabolism. Vitamin B complex helps prevent infection. Vitamin C, it is a water soluble vitamin. Here are some examples of vitamin C. Mostly all citrus fruits are example of vitamin C. We also have some vegetables in it. Amla is also a good source of vitamin C. The body uses vitamin C to make skin, ligaments and blood vessels. It also helps us to repair and maintain our cartilage, bones and teeth to help heal wounds and to form scar tissue. Vitamin D is a fat soluble. The body makes vitamin D when it is exposed to ultraviolet or UV rays we call it from the sun. Some sources of vitamin D are as follows fish, margarine, butter, fortified milk, healthy cereals and fatty fish. Vitamin D is responsible for absorption of calcium, magnesium and phosphate these minerals for our body. Vitamin E is a fat soluble vitamin. These are some sources of vitamin E. Vitamin E oil is used as an ingredient in many skin care products. Also the supplements may prevent heart diseases, support immune functions, prevent inflammation, promote eye health and lower the risk of cancer. Vitamin K is a fat soluble. These are some of the foods which are rich in vitamin K. 
the body needs it in blood coagulation and for controlling binding of calcium in bones and other tissues. Let us have a look at the minerals. Minerals are required in small amounts in our body. They are essential for the proper growth of body and for maintaining good health. Some of the main important minerals needed by our body are calcium, zinc, magnesium, iron and potassium. Water. Yes, water is also very important for our body. 72% of our body weight is made up of water. Helps, it helps us to swallow and digest food. It also helps us to absorb the nutrients and eliminate waste like in the form of urine and sweat. We must drink at least 6 to 8 glasses of water every day. Roughage Roughage does not provide any nutrients but it is an essential ingredient of our food. It helps us to get rid of undigested food. Roughage is also called as dietary fibers and mainly provided by plant products like whole grains, pulses, potatoes, fresh fruits and vegetables. Balanced Diet We need all types of food every day to get all the required nutrients and roughage for our body. This type of diet is called as a balanced diet. A balanced diet, it is said to have 50% of carbohydrates, 35% of fats, 12% of proteins, 3% of vitamins and minerals and sufficient amount of water. Eating the right kind of food is not enough. It should also be cooked properly so that its nutrients are not lost. Are you aware that some of the nutrients get lost in the process of cooking and preparations? Yes. If vegetables and fruits are washed after cutting or peeling them, it may result in the loss of some vitamins. The skins of many fruits and vegetables contain vitamins and minerals. Similarly, repeated washing of rice and pulses may remove some vitamins and minerals present in it. We all know that cooking improves the taste of food and makes it easier to digest. At the same time, cooking also results in the loss of certain nutrients. Many useful proteins and considerable amounts of minerals are lost if excess water is used during cooking and is then thrown away. Also, we overcook our food, nutrients get lost or burn our food, nutrients get lost. Vitamin C gets easily destroyed by heat during cooking. Would it not be sensible for us to include some fruits and raw vegetables in our diet? Yes, give it a thought. One in ten older people are suffering from or are at risk of malnutrition. A person may be getting enough food to eat, but sometimes the food may not contain a particular nutrient. If this continues, a person may suffer from its deficiency. Now deficiency of one or more nutrients may cause diseases. Diseases that occur due to lack of nutrients over a long period are called deficiency diseases. Protein deficiency. If a person does not get enough protein in his or her food for a long time, he or she may likely to be suffering from stunted growth, swelling of face, discoloration of hair, skin diseases and diarrhea. If a person does not get enough 
carbohydrates and proteins for a long period of time. The growth may stop completely. Such a person may become very lean or thin and so weak that he or she may not be able to move. Vitamin and Mineral Deficiency Deficiency of different vitamins and minerals may also result in certain diseases or disorders. Let us have a look at the table given here. All the deficiency diseases can be prevented by taking a balanced diet. Vitamin A Deficiency Vitamin A causes loss of vision, poor vision, loss of vision in darkness night time and sometimes complete loss of vision are the symptoms. The disease or disorder is loss of vision. Let us have a look at vitamin B1. If there is less of vitamin B1 in our new food, then it co may cause beriberi disease. Now the symptoms for a person suffering from beriberi diseases will be weak muscles, very little energy to work, memory loss, constipations also. Vitamin C deficiency causes the disease called as scurvy, S-C-U-R-V-Y. The symptoms are bleeding gums, wounds which take longer time to heal. Vitamin D causes the disease, rickets. Bones become soft and bent at a young age. Calcium deficiency is a mineral deficiency which causes a disorder that is bone and tooth decay. The bones become weak, there can be tooth decay and also the nails become brittle, soft and they break easily. Iodine deficiency causes goiter. The glands in the neck appear swollen are the symptoms for goiter. Iodine deficiency can also cause mental disability in children. Iron deficiency causes anemia that is less hemoglobin in the blood. The symptoms of anemia are weakness. Most of the children and older people suffer from anemia. This is the summary for our lesson components of food. So, your body is a finely tuned vehicle. Give it a good fuel and it will take you to places. This is the eat well plate. We should have balanced food in our plate. Thank you. Be safe. Be happy. Take care. And keep smiling.